Hello everyone, Chris here, and in this video we're going to be talking about Google Drive and how you can actually synchronize your files from Google Drive and the web interface to your computer. And how you would do that is actually by downloading the Google Drive application. Although you can access Google Drive perfectly well by logging into Gmail and going to drive.google.com, there is actually an app that you can download on your computer for specifically this purpose in order to synchronize your files to the cloud storage. So whenever you download Google Drive and install it, you'll have the ability to open up the program. It'll generally create a desktop location for you. We have Google Drive. You can double click that and it will open up the Google Drive folder for your user account on Windows. And if the synchronization is running and has actually obtained your files from your Google Drive storage, you'll start seeing them show up in this folder. Now what you're going to be looking for for each of these files and here once it's done synchronizing is a little check mark which symbolizes that the synchronization is complete and that the app, Google Drive, has confirmed that the file is on your computer up to date and is the same version as the version actually on the Google servers. But aside from checking this folder, how do you actually know that Google Drive is syncing? Well, as Google Drive is an application and does need to be running in order to do the synchronization, you would have Google Drive start up. You can make that a startup process on your computer, or you can just open it up when you want to use it. And whenever it's running, it's going to show down here in the notification area on Windows. If you click Show Hidden Icons, you may see it. So we're looking for Google Drive. In this case, the sync is complete because we have all of the files synchronized to our computer. But how do you make sure that it is actually synchronizing? Well, what you can do is click on the icon, go up here to settings once the menu pops up, click on preferences, and you'll actually be able to see the settings for the synchronization with Google Drive. Now, by default, when you just install the program, it's going to sync everything from the drive to your computer. And we're talking about laptop computers, not the mobile application. If you're using the mobile phone or tablet application, you actually need to manually select which files you want to synchronize to that device. And the reason for that is simply because the mobile devices don't have nearly enough space to justify synchronizing every single file. If you do decide that you don't want to synchronize everything, you can select here only these folders, which will give you a list of all the folders in your Google Drive, and you can select which ones you actually want to synchronize. After that, just hit apply and you should be good to go. Now lastly, before Google Drive syncs entirely, you may notice by hovering over this icon down here that there'll be an animation indicating that it's currently syncing, and the text may not say sync complete, but instead file one of however many files need to be synced. And what the first number is indicating is which file it's on out of the total number that need to be synchronized. Back in the pop-up menu, when you click on it, you can also see the latest changes that have been made to your Google Drive. You can see in this case that I went ahead and deleted this how to get started with Drive file, which you may actually want to read. It's defaulted to every Drive account. And you can also see that this folder and these two files have synchronized with what I have on the Google Drive account. So that's the gist of synchronization within Google Drive. If you'd like, you can subscribe to my channel where I'll have future tutorials, including Google Docs, coming up in the next few videos. Thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.